Hello, I'm Jesse Weisenfeld, the biologist with Kramer Fish Sciences, and I'll be demonstrating the removal of the otoliths from a uh, Chinook salmon. So we have our tools of the trade. Uh, we have a sharp serrated knife, plastic uh, tweezers, and a vial for the otoliths. The otoliths are the uh, ear bones of the, of the Chinook. Um, and, uh, and they're located uh, right behind the brain. And um, the best way to grab the salmon is grab it by its eyes, because it's very slippery. And then you, you're looking for uh, kind of a, sh a soft spot um, behind the brainial case. And um, it's best to start further back than you, uh, than you need to, and then you can work your way up because so you, you, there's a possibility that you could cut the otolith in half. So to be careful, I'm going to start much further back than I need. And you want to cut straight down. So you can see here, don't have any brain. So we need to go, we need to go further up. All right, so made my incision, and the otoliths are 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 in sacks, and I've <clears throat> I cut just a tad a tad too much, but uh, to, just to demonstrate that I almost did cut the um, cut the otoliths. I made, it, but I did not. Um, so these are the otoliths. These are the fish bones, uh, fish ear bones, and they're in a they're in a sack. Called the sacculus, and then those can be removed right there. Remove sacculus, put it in your labeled file for later analysis for. Um, uh, microchemistry, uh, migratory history, and um, age, and uh, whether they were in, uh, whether they're from hatchery.